And welcome to another edition of Daytime Ottawa on Rogers TV. First off, uh, we are celebrating International Women's Day. All kinds of incredible, amazing women on our show uh, this episode. But first, let's start the show off with a couple of gentlemen. They'll be performing this Sunday at uh, La Roma Restaurant. It's Jazz Night one more time with the performance Petita Differente. We have Tim Bedner and Norman Glode on Daytime Ottawa. <laughs> There you go, Tim Pittner, not a man glowed. Come on over, gentlemen, for a bit of an interview. We'll talk about uh, everything that people can look forward to at La Roma. Uh, first of all, welcome <coughs> to Daytime Ottawa. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Normand, Tim, wonderful performance there. Okay, so, uh, but Tim, you're actually the, the guy behind this uh, jazz night. It's been happening for some time. How long has it been going on? Since, uh, uh, it'll be th it's been three years this March, uh, the beginning of March. We've okay. been doing uh, Jazz Night at La Roma Restaurant. Well, congratulations on that. Thank okay, you. so now, Normand, you're going to be uh, joining Tim I'll this be upcoming uh, Sunday night? Yeah, I'll be joining Tim. Tim has a rotation of uh, various musicians that he brings in to, uh, to, uh, to play with him. And uh, I, yeah, I have the luxury of being there once in a while, and this is this is the weekend. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> How many musicians then, Tim, would you say you've had join you over the years? Uh, most of Ottawa's who's who in the jazz community. Most of Ottawa's jazz uh, musicians. Um, there's a couple of dozen folks. I've had a few folks from outside the city, but there's a great pool of talent here in Ottawa uh, mm -hmm. to be used. So I'm, I'm happy to be part. Uh, is that the fun part of it, that you have a, I mean, someone different joining you quite often? It, it really is. Uh, Always stays it fresh. keeps me on my toes, for yeah. sure. These, <laughs> these great musicians push me a bit. So uh, each week is different, for sure. 430 Preston Street is where La Roma is. Now you, uh, Normand, you also have a, a gig coming up on uh, April 6th at Gig Space. That makes sense. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's got a it's pretty a cool name yeah, too for, uh, for for a location and a cool name for the event. Name of the event? Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is a tribute to Toots Tielemans. So I've called this concert uh, Toots Suite. Mm -hmm. uh, it's essentially um, it's a it's a tribute to Toots for. And I'll be playing mostly tunes that he either wrote or he popularized or he touched in a special way with his tone. Toots Tielemans. I'm not sure if you 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 know this gentleman, 
but he has to be one of the best, if not the best contemporary uh, harmonica player. He passed away, unfortunately, about a year and a half ago or so. Um, but he left his imprint on so many great tunes, and s many people just don't realize uh, how much of an impact he had on, on the music, mm -hmm. on, on the jazz scene. Uh, I'll give you a quick, a quick name here, a quick song, uh, Sesame Street. Okay. I'm sure you've heard the outro. It played on for 40 years, and Toots was the guy playing the melody. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so tunes like that that are, are pretty pretty interesting and, and fun to play. Too. Will you be covering the outro of Sesame Street on this Shh, evening? It's a secret. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Big possibility, I'm guessing. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Tim, you have a, a CD together as well of Light and Shadow? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh. Norm and I have. Uh, right, you still need to use that microphone. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Norm and I. Uh, <laughs> I'll do the. Uh, Norm and I did this uh, CD a few years back, and it, it garnered some critical acclaim in the jazz community. And uh, I'm uh, still, you know, uh, in awe of what we were able to do together Very as a team at his studio uh, okay. in Cumberland. Okay, so this was recorded at your studio. Yeah, it was. Okay, so you have a studio in Cumberland. Yeah, I have a studio. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm lucky to have this great recording space. And uh, in there, well, my main objective when I built the studio initially was to be able to cater to, to live off the floor jazz musicians mm -hmm. so that I'd be able to do, you know, one or two takes and, and, and keep the best. And I have a, a nice grand piano and uh, uh, you know, drum kits and everything else uh, f of that nature as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, mostly the, the main objective was to uh, have a great space and uh, a place that's con conducive to do not just layering of sound, but, mm -hmm. but be able to play live okay. uh, recordings. You know? Yeah. Tim, when does all the fun happen on Sunday nights? The fun starts at 5.30, goes to 8.30, and the food is fantastic. The music is awesome. Yeah. And we hope uh, we can get some folks down to help okay. support. Okay, how, how many songs do you think you fit into to that amount of oh, time? Oh, probably a couple of dozen, I would yeah. say. Oh, yeah, Depend yeah, a couple of dozen tunes, and uh, you'll hear lots of uh, Toots uh, 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 songs yeah. uh, uh, this coming Sunday with Norm. Sounds like a lot of fun. Tim Bettner, uh, dot, dot com for more details. And to thank you very much, Norman and Tim, for being here today. We look forward to the Thanks performance on a stuff. Sunday night. We've got more daytime coming up in moments. As a matter of fact, Tanya Bruin from To Do Done. Yeah, Renovations joins us coming up next on Rogers TV.